At that particular time, we, we were all at the end of the season and we, we hadn't played great in, in the trip out there. Uh, Jack um, was kind of down about how we played. It was, um, I suppose it would have been, it might have been 92, maybe something like that. It was around, around the time Roy got in the team. I'm trying to think when Roy first got in the side. And uh, we went out to play in a tournament. We didn't quit ourselves very well. And we went on the beer for a day and a half afterwards. And some of us were late getting back to the bus and Jack had already gone to the airport and uh, left Mick in charge. And Mick, as we got on the bus one by one at the head office, you know, even though he was a player, you know, how dare you? You're a disgrace, you should know better, Niall Quinn. You know, who do you think you are coming this late? You know, Ronnie Whelan, who do you think you are? You know, and then it came to Roy and, and, and Mick just went, D first trip, disgrace. And Roy just went, first touch, disgrace. <laughs> and the whole bus, the whole bus, went, oh my God, that's the most incredible comeback I've ever heard. And you were kind of rooting for him in one way, you know, we were all great friends of Mick, but it was, wow, this, this bloke's afraid of nothing, you know, because Mick would have been tougher to deal with than Jack. Because Mick was, you know, that, that stubbornness, that toughness was coming at you and it's all laid out in front of you and he's, he's criticised. And we were late, we were bang out of order. Mick Byrne had packed for us. We'd forgotten to pack. And Mick Bourne went into every room and threw things in bags and brought them. None of us even knew if we had all our clothes. But we, we, were, we were, you know, taken aback, I think, by, by we all got on the bus, sobered up immediately, and went, wow, that was incredible. Did you hear that? Like, you know, you could see everyone, oh, God, I can't believe he said that. <laughs>